I was terrified. And so when they started school, I started school with my last name, thinking that would keep them safe, that they wouldn't be associated with the murder. Wasn't the Adelson name in the press? It was not in the press. Not yet. Hello, everyone. Brian from Madness and Motive. Recently, I was laying on the couch and, as we all do, relaxing to the sweet sounds of Wendy Adelson testimony. One portion of her testimony that I honed in on was changing the boy's last name from Markel to Adelson. Wendy said she did this because she was terrified, and at the time, there was so much media coverage that this was her way of protecting the boys. As you saw in the clip at the beginning of the video, Georgia comes in here and says, well, wasn't the Adelson name also in the media? Wendy quickly says, no, it was not, not at that time. Admittedly, the way she says this so assuredly drives me absolutely crazy. So I wanted to look into it. I want us, you and I, to buckle into the time machine. We're gonna go back to 2014 and we're gonna verify this statement from Wendy. We're going to answer the question, was the Adelson name in the media in 2014 at the time the crime was committed. Okay, our first article is from the New York Times. We're gonna come right out of the gate with a huge readership. Um, I'm seeing an audience of about 17 million per month around this time, 2014. Uh, Now, the New York Times won't let me uh, read this article without paying, so I'm gonna do a bit of a sneaky trick Uh, Don't tell anyone I showed you this, uh, but we're going to look at the code of the page. It's the same as the page content. It's just a different way to look at it. And hopefully you can see here, as I zoom in, that this article was published uh, July 21st. Okay? So we are just days after the crime. And I'm going to look for the Adelson name in the code. And right here, I can see last year he was divorced from Wendy Jill Adelson. So they give the full name, of course, the last name, which he claims was not in the media. And then they go into um, talking about, you know, her profession, where she works, etc. Okay, Uh, so there's one knock against Wendy's claim. Next, let's look at an article from the Herald Tribune. Uh, I ran their metrics. And around 2014, 2015, we're looking at a readership of uh, about 155,000 per month. So nowhere near the New York Times, but still respectable. Uh, Let's zoom in on the date so you can hopefully see it better. Sorry if it's a little tough to read, but this is July 24th. And again, the crime was committed on July 18th. So we're just a few days after. And let's go ahead and search for the Adelson name. Okay, and we have four instances. So we've got Wendy named here, um, talks about a contentious divorce. Um, It's actually interesting to see how quickly a lot of these uh, details did come out. Um, So yeah, four mentions of the Adelson name. Here we also have a quote from uh, Wendy's lawyer at the time. His name is Jimmy Judkins. And this quote reads, She's a basket case. She's totally, totally shocked over what happened. And I have to say, I actually do agree with the attorney here. Wendy Adelson is a basket case. Here we have CBC out of Canada. So we've gone international already. Uh, Let's look at the date of the article. I'll go ahead and zoom in for you so you can hopefully see it better. It's July 24th, so uh, we're about six days out from the crime. By the way, uh, CBC at the time had a readership of about, you know, eight or nine hundred thousand people per month. Let's go ahead and search for the Adelson name. And once again, we've got four mentions. Um, I think it's likely this content was probably syndicated um, because this is exactly what was on the Herald Tribune. Uh, But regardless, uh, four mentions in an article that has some pretty significant reach. Next up, we've got CNN.com, which Wendy actually mentioned in one of her uh, testimonies. Uh, This readership at the time was somewhere around the neighborhood of 20 million per month. Let's check the date of the article. 
Hopefully you can see this okay. Uh, we're now at July 26th. Let's do a search for the Adelson name. We have one mention of the Adelson name. Uh, it's Wendy. And we have some further comments from her attorney, Jimmy Judkins. She is, quote, scared to death that the killer may be targeting her entire family. And that was true. The killer was targeting her family. They owed him money for killing Dan Markell on their behalf. Next, we've got ABC News. Uh, so at the time, they had a readership of about 5 million per month. Let's look at the date of the article. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. Uh, so we're looking at July 28th. So we're a little bit further out, but we're still you know, very, very close to when the crime was committed. Let's uh, look for the Adelson name. And we do see it once again four times, but this content isn't syndicated. It's unique from what was on the Herald Tribune and CBC. This mentions Wendy Jill Adelson. She's an FSU professor. Um, it also talks about uh, what Dan referred to as the Pearl Harbor attack. That's when Wendy basically cleaned him out and left divorce papers on the bed when he was away for travel. He came home to uh, what is claimed to be a half empty house no wife, no kids, and like I said, the divorce papers. So Dan refers to that as the Pearl Harbor attack, and that's referenced here uh, just 10 days out from the crime. But you can see here clearly there's many, many mentions of the Adelson name in the media uh, at the time. Next up is Daily Mail. Uh, now this is out of the UK, so once again, we are international. Um, at the time, from the metrics I'm seeing, they had a readership of about 55 to 60 million per month. Let's go ahead and look at the date of the article. So we're looking at August 1st, so we're a little, little further out. And let's look up the Adelson name. And you can see here, Wendy is mentioned in uh, the captioning to a picture. Uh, this is Wendy with her two boys and, of course, her two girls. And finally, we're back to another article from ABC News. Um, this one is also from August 1st, if you can see there. Let's do our search for the Adelson name. And we've got two mentions. You can see here again that Wendy is named in full. And then there's a comment that police have spent hours questioning Adelson. Yes, and they wanted to spend even more hours. However, when they called to set up the interview, she pretended to have a bad connection and hung up, which is the same tactic I use for telemarketers. So why did I do this exercise? Well, in my opinion, changing the last name of the boys from Markel to Adelson is a really odd and suspicious thing to do. But saying that, you know, hey, at the time I was terrified and the Adelson last name wasn't really in the media, it kind of does give her an excuse if, if we're going to be totally fair. And in my opinion, if we want to really make an impact with, say, a jury, for example, we have to eliminate all possible wiggle room. And this gives her wiggle room. So what I wanted to do is go back in time, let's actually look at the media coverage. And by the way, this is just a snippet of media coverage. I'm just looking at web pages that people might find through organic search. And let's blow this point she's trying to make, let's blow this excuse out of the water. And I think today we did exactly that. We visited publications that get millions upon millions of readers every single month and the coverage spanned internationally. So very clearly and without question, the Adelson name was in the media from the beginning. The other thing I found interesting when reviewing her testimony uh, is to compare testimony from Katie's trial versus Wendy's testimony in Charlie's trial. It changes a bit. Uh, she says things a little differently. And in my opinion, I think she kind of refined her performance. It's a little more emotional uh, and I think intended to be more impactful to the jury the second time. So before we depart today, let's watch that comparison. Did you change your children's last name from Markel to Adelson? I did. When was that done? So after Danny died, there was a lot of press coverage and CNN put pictures of my children's faces unblurred 
on national television, newspapers put their names without any consideration to the fact that they're children. When did you decide to change the names of your children from uh, Mark Hell to Adelson? So after Danny's murder, there was a lot of news. It just hit the media and there were news stories everywhere. And Nancy Grace on CNN put pictures of my boys with their faces unblurred, just pictures of them. Mm -hmm. And I was terrified. And so when they started school, I started school with my last name, thinking that would keep them safe, that wasn't, they wouldn't be associated with the murder. Wasn't the Adelson name in the press? Just it was as not as in the press. Raquel? Not yet. When I listened to her statements, particularly from Charlie's trial, that was the second clip I played, it's clear that she was fully aware of what was in the media. She was following the coverage. And if she was following the coverage, it's my understanding that she absolutely would have seen her last name all over the place, just like we did today. I don't think her excuse holds any water, which for me makes the last name change even worse. Thank you for watching. Just a short video today. I figured I'd post it since I did the exercise anyway. If you enjoyed it, give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and know that sometimes you can turn back time.